What's up guys, it's your boy Texas Schoolhead back with another video and in this video we're going to continue on with the mods so in this video we're going to be changing this tail light to an integrated tail light so basically it's smoked and then it has a turn signals on it because this one it just has a brake light and it doesn't look all that so let me show you what we got so I got this from JL Designs. Um, they do R06 and R1 and BMW S1000s, I believe. I'll link them down in the description below so y'all can see them. Boom. Man, that thing looks mean, man. And also, I got some turn signals that are going to be mounted underneath here. And they're also in. So it has the amber lights and then the brake lights as well. I got the whole kit. Um, but as for the original turn signals, I did have to cut my um, my plugs in because I don't want to have to uh, mess up the original wiring on this. And besides, I mean, I won't be needing the original one. So the original tail light that we took off in the last video. So I just went ahead and took off the two plugs that I need. That way I can just wire the the plugs for the new turn signal lights and I won't have to worry about cutting the plug well that's what we're going to be doing on today's video guys and uh hope you all enjoy all right guys so to start off you want to take out the rear um seat the cowl and then you want to take off the the driver's seat so you just unscrew this screws these two screws for the driver's seat and then for this you just unscrew these right here so this is going to pop off and then what we're going to try to do is take this part off that way we can get into the wiring that stuff that's here all right guys i got all this um other stuff unplugged so you gotta unplug the brake light and then i went ahead and plug these in and then just strip the wire off of it that way i connect the other wires the new wires that are going to it and it looks like for this one, all you gotta do is just pop these two little circles right here, these two. You hear like a pop. And then from there, they just come out. I try to wiggle it out, but it looks like I can't really take it off. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably take this fender off. So, looks like I gotta take these four bolts, these right here, and then two on the bottom right here and then I'm guessing these screws as well alright guys once y'all take down the fairings off just make sure you take down the little screws on the side um, and then you also do have to um, take off this metal thing that was here or plastic if you have uh, turn signal lights then that's where it would be you have to take all this off that way you can have uh, pressure to pull this down and then this uh, tail light would just slide right out. So this is the old tail light. And then here's the new one, guys. Sick, man. So we're going to put this on there. And then I'll uh, show you how it looks. Alright, guys. Went ahead and turned on the bike seat. And make sure everything, at least the tail light works. And guys, look at it. Oh, this thing looks like a fucking boss, man. We're going to go ahead and um, put the turn signal now. So I might clean this up right here with some alcohol just so you can get nice and clean and then it looks like we have to drill a hole like right about right here that way the wires can go through and um, we can wire it all up over here so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole mount these up all right guys I went ahead and uh, drilled the hole check them out so for the drill bit I used the uh, 3 and 32s just kind of marked it and I just drilled it but uh, I think the size right here the 332 is a perfect size um, there's no gap between it there's like perfect for the three wires to go through so after I drilled it um make sure you go nice and slow because you don't want to drill through the other one I mean unless you want to I mean could you could so I ended up drilling a hole through here because I didn't want to risk the chance of it getting snapped through here so I ended up seeing that it actually closes with the seat there 
so I ended up just drilling a hole on the side. I did go in a bigger drill bit size though. Um, that way the the cables don't sit there all tight. And now I gotta figure out this wiring colors. I might have to cut some of these out. So um, I can show y'all. This is too damn long. One hour later. All right, guys. After hours of trying to figure this out because I ain't get no diagram so I had to look it up online in their website and since I picked the tri function one which which means that um basically looks like this so um basically the running lights the turn signal stay as in running lights and as well when you uh, step on the brake they get brighter so let me try to see If y'all see that, that it gets brighter, that's how it should be. Let's try our hazards on. Let's try the signal first. Left signal works. Let's try the right signal. Boom. Everything works. So we follow that diagram. The if you get the one with the connectors, the dual connectors, that's the one that it's gonna end up looking like mine if not they do have ones that um it's this is red the turn signals are red they have another one where it's um just the uh, hazards the color hazard so it's orange no running lights so these wouldn't be running as you drive your motorcycle but this one will uh, but I wanted the whole thing to glow so I got the whole turn signals to glow while it's on and as well as with the tail light and that's the pretty much the top dollar one you can get and i'll link it down in the description below for y'all but for this wiring jesus man it's it's crazy so oh i'm gonna fix it up a little bit and kind of take y'all with it so y'all won't have to look at this mess but basically y'all do have to cut into the original plug for the tail light and it's gonna have to be the one that's half blue half red and the one that's yellow um i will leave a little space it does get tight right here since the cord is not that long i mean i guess you can't do anything about it um but let me uh, kind of try to make this look a little bit nicer all right guys i'm back so i ended up snipping some extras um i just pretty much made them to the length to where i at least go through it past this cable like about here but let me explain to y'all so so once y'all plug in y'all signals and pull it up so you're gonna have a a red a yellow and a black so the left one is gonna be attached to this white connector so from the white connector the black is gonna attach to the black cord on the turn signal so black to black as you see right here and then the green is going to go to the yellow from the turn signal and the yellow from the the yellow from the brake light so it's going to be three together like this all right and then the red one it's going to go to the dual connector this is only if you have that dual connector um so you're going to connect it to the dual connector then after that leave it alone so we can work on this other side that way once you work it up you can meet in the middle all right guys and so for the right side the black connector so it has a black connector and the brown one so the black is going to go with the black same thing as with the left and then the brown is going to attach to the yellow turn signal and then the blue cord from the brake light after you got those two connected the red one it's gonna go to the dual connector to the one that uh, has two connectors and now uh, this is where it seems to get a little bit tricky so for this cable right here you're gonna have to cut the blue and red one as well with the yellow one because that's where you have to connect the dual connectors from all right guys so as you see right here so this is the left side 
of the turn signals so the left side turn signals is going to go with the orange and blue with red as well with the other side of the orange blue and red so you those you're going to want to put together and then as for the red side you're going to want to connect it with the yellow of the brake light and then connect it with the other red with the bottom yellow of the other cable so that basically makes four cables in one and same with this one that's how they come together at once so once you got that this should uh work so i put um some heat shrink um i did have these it did come with some of these but didn't seem to work on me man they wouldn't clamp on so i just went with that so we'll give y'all a look And they do look sick, man. There it is. Go ahead and um, put this all together with some electric tape. So that way it doesn't look like a mess. After that, we're pretty much done, guys. Um, let me get this wrapped up. This is my setup. It ain't the prettiest, but it will do. I couldn't get rid of too high these cables but as for that part I do need to go back to the auto parts and buy me a new one because I ended up stripping that try to make it the cleanest I could doesn't look too bad though it is better that you drill the holes on the side though so and as for a little bonus I do have a front axle Slider thing protector this is from Evo or uh, Evo Tech, and I also got some newer one though. Just put these on actually. It doesn't really count as a mod. I mean, it's one, I guess, but it's pretty big. So we're gonna go ahead and install this one real quick, and uh, it should just slide through, and then just tighten the nuts. That should be about it. I tighten those up. They look pretty good. Pretty bulky. So I just ended up grabbing a 13 millimeter on each side and just kind of holding it with a ratchet. Go on the opposite side. But this is it, guys. You gotta think about it, man. I love it, guys. I love it. Well worth the money. Other than that, guys, this has been your boy Texas Screwhead. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And uh, I still got one big thing that's coming in next for a mod. But other than that, it's been your boy Texas Screwhead. Signing out. Deuces.